For me, there's only one chin rest that really seems to do the job, and that is this one. This is a raised brand chin rest made by Frisch and Denig, and it is totally awesome. This chin rest is awesome because it is nice and high. In fact, it measures about 32 millimeters high over here, where your jaw is going to touch the chin rest. And it makes it so that I don't have to have a high shoulder rest and the viola can sit lower. So let me just show you that for one second. Here's my viola with the Frisch and Denig chin rest on it. And what happens is that I have a very nice low shoulder rest here that I curved here with the um, Eiffel shoulder, shoulder rest. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my shoulder and you can see that the chin rest takes up that space over here. So I've got a lot of space and that pretty much perfectly fits the way that my head holds onto my viola. What I love about it is that when I'm holding it like this, and then I take the instrument away, that my posture is just right. So when I'm standing normally, I look like this. When I put the instrument up here, I do this. Now I'm locked in there. I feel very comfortable. I have a little bit of mobility, but I'm also, I don't feel like the instrument is going to fall down at all. And then when I take it away, my head is just normal. So that is exactly what I look for in a chin rest. I want a chin rest and shoulder rest combination that gives me flexibility and also support. And that's really hard to find. So when I put it up here, I find my jaw here. In other words, I can run my finger along my jaw. Everybody's a little different, but the end of my jaw is right here. And I can feel over there that there's a little indentation right here. And if you look at this chin rest really carefully, there's like a little lip over here, and that should lock right into my jaw there. So that'll go in here where my jaw is, and then perfect. Now you can see the instrument, when I'm not holding it with my hands, it just sits there beautifully. I mean, the shoulder rest by Eiffel is awesome, and that helps, and the chin rest is a perfect complement to that because you can see my posture is really, really good like this. When I hold the instrument up like that, there's no problem in holding the instrument up. You know that a lot of people complain when the viola player plays like this. Well, we don't have that problem over here. Now, let me talk about a few things when we put the chin rest on. You can see that I have the bottom of the chin rest here right next to that saddle. This is called the saddle here. In fact, I actually have the end of it right on top of the saddle, and I like it over there because the closer that the chin rest is over here to the middle of the instrument, the more support that I get. In other words, if I move the chin rest a little bit to the side, like this, you can see the space over here, then when I hold my instrument up, it's a little bit too far down this way. And let me show you something. I hope, I, I hope you can see this. When I'm when I'm looking from this side, when the chin rest is farther on that side, I'm going to move my head over. I see to the fingerboard from the left side of the fingerboard, I see in this way. But then when I'm over here, I see straight down the fingerboard. And that gives me a really good look over there. So even though I want the chin rest a little bit farther this way, I can see straight down the fingerboard. And that gives me a much better eye line into the instrument. So you can see over there, when I hold the instrument, it's a little bit low over there. And now I'm moving the, the chin rest over towards the saddle. So I've got it all the way over there. I'm going to lock it into place with the chin rest key. Everybody should have a really good chin rest key. We sell these chin rest keys on violazone.com. They're well worth it to have a really nice one. It's good to have in your case. And when you do and your chin rest starts to rattle or you want to make an adjustment, it's right there for you. Just like that. Now you'll see that I have the chin rest really towards the middle here. You can see that right next to the tailpiece. And now when I hold the instrument up like this, my instrument's up a little bit higher. Um, I can only tell you, like, most people are really not used to holding an instrument like this. You can see that from this side, there's a lot of instrument up this way, but it really helps with my posture. And the 
eyesight that goes straight down the strings really gives me a great perspective when I'm playing. So I can't recommend that highly enough. I know that it's a weird thing but um, to some people, but if you get used to playing like that, I can almost guarantee that you'll be really, really, really happy with the results. So basically, when you set this chin rest up, make sure that you feel your jaw over here and then feel the lip over there and make sure that that lip is touching your jaw. That means that just the corner of this is touching my my body actually and that's why this chin rest is actually very small. At first when you see the small chin rest like that it seems kind of weird because a lot of the chin rest cups are really large but I love the smallness of it because it actually enhances the sound to have a nice small chin rest and when I put it up there I don't need a lot of wood here. I want as little as possible. So it's very streamlined and I that's one of the things I really love about it. So we might want to give that a try. If you do try one of these, I would say that you should probably try it for a while before you make up your mind because probably it'll feel a lot different. But I am so thrilled with the results. And actually, because of the posture and because of the streamlined design of this chin rest, I really believe that my instrument sounds better when I'm playing with it. So there are a lot of reasons to use that. So perfect combination of setup. It's the Eiffel shoulder rest and the Frisch and Denig chin rest. You can find both of these at violazone.com. They are so worth it. They're so awesome. And if you give it a little bit of time, you probably can find your perfect setup with these two things. Anyway, until I see you the next time, happy practicing.